Earlier today, I put out my ranking of every direct-to-video Disney sequel, but I didn't count the Tinkerbell movies because there's so many of them that I consider them their own separate franchise. But now here's my ranking of all six Tinkerbell movies from worst to best. Coming in at last place at number six is Legend of the Never Beast. Yes, this movie technically has Tinkerbell's name in the title, but she's barely in the movie. The main character it focuses on is the fairy who can talk to animals, and this movie is just beat-for-beat beat ripoff of How to Train Your Dragon. She finds this mythical creature that everyone's afraid of and bonds with it, and then the evil character wants to destroy it. The creature sacrifices itself for the main character. It's the same story. Uh, top of the movie ends on a really depressing note. Number five, Secret of the Wings. This has really good visuals and really good contrast, but they didn't even bother to go back and watch the first movie because the first movie basically gets retconned for the sake of introducing a new character. And on top of that, the movie is preachy and the plot is convoluted. Number four, Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure. I don't know what happened here between the first and the second movie, but Tinkerbell is such an unlikable brat in this. It just feels so out of character from who she is in the first one. On top of that, the plot for this one was just kind of boring and stupid. Number three, Tinkerbell. You know, for a direct-to-video movie, this was actually pretty good. It has good world-building, fun characters, pretty good animation. I just wish it had a little bit more connection to Peter Pan because it feels so much like its own thing that you kind of forget that it's in the same universe as Peter Pan. Number two, Tinkerbell, The Great Fairy Rescue. This movie's pretty cute for what it is. I mean, the main character has a good dynamic with Tinkerbell, Michael Sheen's in it. The plot just isn't all that exciting. But coming out of first place is The Pirate Fairy. There is a huge gap between these other ones and the first one because this one is far superior to the other ones. Because it has good world building, this actually felt connected to Peter Pan. They got Tom Hiddleston as Captain Hook, who was the best part of this movie. The songs were really catchy and it had a really good, exciting, and interesting plot. So even though most of these were kind of awful to the middle of the road, this was the one that I thought was genuinely good. The Pirate Fairy was the one to your movie that I thought, yeah, this was good. This is one where they actually tried. So it comes in at number one. So go ahead and share your ranking of all six Tinkerbell movies, and I will see you next time.